Hi, I'm Alistair. Normally in this channel I create videos about how to create escape room puzzles using different pieces of technology. But not every escape room puzzle needs to be high-tech. There are many puzzles based around words, for example. And in this video I want to describe a piece of tech you can use to create non-tech ER puzzles. Specifically, I want to talk about a website called CAT. So if I just load it up here, so you can see the website address is www.quinapolis.com forward stroke CTI bin CAT. And CAT is a tool for finding words that meet a certain number of constraints, basically. Uh, it's a little bit like using a, a regular expression, if you're familiar with that, but it's really powerful. So um, let me start with a, a simple example of how to use it. Supposing that you needed players to be clued the colour red for some reason. They needed to know red to solve a puzzle. So you want words that contain the substring red in them somewhere. So you can just type asterisk red asterisk and you'll get uh, a list of all the words from a dictionary uh, ordered by size that have the substring red in them somewhere. Now that's not very exciting. There's plenty of websites you can do that in. But um, where CAT becomes quite special is where you can do slightly more uh, advanced constraints. So let me reformulate that. So we want a word that is A red B. Notice I put capital letters for the A and B. So rather than actually having the word red, capital letters um, is just like a, a pattern of letters. So some number of letters A, some other numbers of letters B. But I also want A and B themselves to be words in their own right. So by writing it like this, that's saying find an entry in the dictionary that has a group of letters followed by red followed by a group of letters and the groups of letters are both ends are also in the dictionary now if we search for that for example we should get some slightly more exciting words now uh, what's happened here is we've actually got a load that are single letters so let's add another constraint so if we say that the length of a which we write by putting vertical pipes on either side of it Let's say that's got to be at least three, let's say. Um, now this was a bit confusing syntax when I first wrote this. I thought three minus makes it sound like it's three or less, but you can imagine that as like a range. So that would be between three and eight letters long for A, but if we just leave that one off, for example, it's a lower end of three and any maximum. And let's do the same for B as well. So let's say that B has to be at least three letters long. and We'll search again. And now we've got some uh, more interesting words. So, for example, uh, kindred ship. So if we have the words kind, red, and ship, uh, we can put them together and, and get kindred ship. Uh, let's have another example. So let's now say we want a word that is formed of two compounds, A and B, but you can swap those compounds around. So B and A is also a word. And this time, let's say that um, both A and B have to be at least four letters long, maybe. Uh, so we'll write that like that. And then let's go. And, oh, OK, so we've got some uh, duplicates. So I should write one more at the end, which is that I don't want uh, A and B to be equal to each other. So I want them to be unique words, A and B, but they can be arranged either way. So I've got things like um, birdsong and songbird, or I've got um, bookcase and casebook. That's a nice one. Um, bird call, cool bird. So um, there's lots of sort of word-based puzzles you can do that. Uh, let's try another one. Maybe we wanted to have three individual words. Uh, so we've now got A, B, and C. Remember, these are all capital letters still, so this is... Uh, groups of letters that appear as words in the dictionary uh, and we'll say uh, A is exactly four letters long this time let's say uh, B is exactly four letters long and C is also exactly four letters long but let's also make A, B, C a word so we've got three individual four letter words that can be put together to make a word as well let's see if we can find those yeah so we've got some here as well um, so uh, we've got the words auto, expo and sure and you can put them together to make auto exposure. So um, 
there's lots more examples as well. Um, I think if you go to this link here, um, it will teach you some of the other things. So you can do uh, reversals, so words which when reversed spell certain things. You can match uh, only vowels. You can do um, anagrams. It's a really, really useful tool for doing any kind of word-based puzzles, and it's completely free to use. Um, now, it's written by a chap called Dr. Mark Owen, and I should just point out that he does say in the sidebar here, if you find this site useful or diverting, please consider a donation to one of these two charities. Uh, there's a UK one and a US one, and they are both uh, charities that support people affected by axial spondyloarthritis. Uh, so I thought I should just point that out uh, on behalf of the author. I've never met him, I don't know him at all, um, but that only seemed fair to point that out. So it's a really, really useful site for any kind of word-based puzzles that you might want to do in a puzzle hunt, treasure hunt, or escape room. Uh, so that's CAT.